I've been assured by the uh, senior officials of the city this morning uh, that while I'm not yet the mayor, that they are taking you know all appropriate steps and have been for some time to uh, protect the city's data and the taxpayers and citizens' data as best that one can, and that uh, they're watching this whole situation. Hackers that go by the Twitter handle ErithXOR2 are claiming responsibility for attacking the Toronto Police website over the weekend. It's the same group claiming attacks on the City of Ottawa and Ottawa Police websites. The Toronto Police site crashed for a couple of hours Sunday night after what's called a denial of service attack. Is denial of service, where you're preventing legitimate visitors and users from accessing the site when they want to which of course undermines the trust in that kind of organization. And they said that they were going to attack every website and they're going to go at all levels and, and rape the uh, police websites, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, obviously those are uh, claims that are meant to intimidate. City News was in contact with the alleged hackers today after they tweeted about it. They told us they're from Brazil and loosely linked to the notorious group Anonymous. They say their motive is retaliation, tweeting, we are doing this because police wrongly arrest innocent man. Toronto Police wouldn't talk about its website attack today. If the public sees that these websites can be easily hacked, then the public will wonder what else can they do? Can they access my government information on government servers? We put those questions to the City of Toronto, who told us no sensitive information was breached. In a statement, a spokesperson says, the city has implemented security best practices to protect our corporate network and website. Well, obviously, I'm very concerned as someone who's about to become the mayor of Toronto. I think a lot of people leading big governments, big organizations, uh, big businesses are very concerned about all the developments that are taking place in, in this world of uh, data security. And the group says they plan to launch another cyber attack again today. So far, no other sites have gone down that we know of, but the group didn't say which city they're targeting next.